What's up guys, so Cross is currently one of my favorite Pokemon to play. With the Shell Smash and Ixus build, for head items I'm running Double Crit, Razor Claw, Scope Lens and Attack Rate, and I absolutely just love playing this build. So I wanted to go over and explain the gameplay a bit, because I don't think there's a lot of Pokemon, or like a lot of people, sorry, not Pokemon, people, that are completely understand how this Pokemon even works, and how it's supposed to be played like this. So you're pretty much, I mean, you're not a really defender, you're like a damage dealer, right? You're like similar to an all-rounder. Um, you try to just be very annoying and do a lot of damage, and you can even invade as well. So I have attack bait on. I'm going for some early game stacking. I'm just gonna run over here. They have an hour as well, but looks it's always like top lane, right? We're just gonna shake hands. He's gonna go stack. I'm gonna go stack, and I'm gonna start doing this. You can also always use rock slide to pull this apom in already. But I'm just gonna kill this apom first. It's not out on the other side. And we're gonna key get our second attack bait stack. Walk towards top side now. Probably should have kept the rock slide for maybe the tackle. Um, so I'm going to wait on the tech right here, and I'm going to try and get it, but actually my Absol gets it. So I'm totally, actually I'm not sure if my Absol even got it. Um, he kind of ruined it for me. <laughs> I could have had level 4 there if I get it. Um, but yeah, got to run away now. Jungler's also here. It's going to take a berry and try to get level 4 for Shell Smash. So what does Shell Smash do? Um, it's a very, I think, underst probably not really understood ability. So Krasik converts his defense and special defense stats into attack. And special attack, I don't know why special attack, but into attack as well. And you can see we do a lot of damage. The Razor Claw also actually is very good for early game damage. You can see we have a slow there as well. We can slow multiple times. Gonna keep more attack rate stacks. So it converts your defense stats to zero and puts them into attack damage. And that's where all the damage comes from. And x has ins insanely good scaling. It has very, very high basic attack scaling. So the more basic attack damage you have, the more x does does. Absolutely crazy damage. So that's why also we have the attack rate. Gonna get my next one right here just to do even even more damage. The only problem is if you use Shell Smash, you also get quite squishy. Again, you drop to zero defense and zero special defense stacks, and uh, it can be quite rough. Another gank by the jungler, so just gonna walk up as well. Gonna Fury Cutter. And Fury Cutter obviously is our early game damage, and also allows us to last hit. It actually does quite good damage for an early game ability, and I'll be level six. Now is the game where the game starts. So pretty much what we always want to do is use a Shell Smash before we access us. Otherwise, our damage will be much, much lower. And that's where the damage comes from. So Shell Smash, and I see the aura up here actually, so I'm gonna access us him. Still got the damage bonus, and just, we just one-shot him. I mean, he's level, level four always still, but yeah, we just one-shot him again. Shell Smash, it lasts for four seconds as well, so you have some good duration. And uh, where does the insane damage as well come from later on? So Crusted's passive actually makes him get more defense. On the bottom right, you see it, there's like an icon there, it currently says five. The lower Crusted is on HP, the more defense stats he gets. So that also means the lower is on HP, the more Shell Smash will do as damage later on. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. My team breaks the goal right here, so I'm just gonna invade now. I'm not gonna rotate towards bot side, cause these are Dinos are a lot of experience, and I don't want them to go to waste. So I'm just being annoying, scoring another 10. Getting close to level nine, I see the wrap of is up as well. So I'm just going, going for it. Um, I mean, you know, as long as I keep Snorlax busy up top here as well, it's totally fine. He's actually gonna die as well, bam. Actually, I died to him. <laughs> right, I forgot about this. I actually died to him. The auto takes just a bit too much in the end. I was only quite surprised, but I think I used my Shell Smash, which, which put me squishy. And uh, yeah, again, I have to be careful with your Shell Smashes. But now I'm almost level 9. I'm just going to run to bot lane to still have impact on this Dreadnought fight. Take a Red Buff fast. I mean, Red Buff would be quite strong to have on my auto attacks. But actually, this, I mean, it's not on power SP or not, so fine getting it. Almost level 8. Going to run to bot lane now. I'm going to look for the big. We also have eject button. Because you can XS eject button someone, and it's also quite strong. Go for the Blissey right here, XS him into a wall. So XS does like three times damage, and it knocks three times. And if you knock someone into a wall, they can stun even more. Just gonna use my Unite move up here. Gonna XS the uh, Decidueye again, he is dead. Going for the next target now. I'm gonna Shell Smash, XS us, and you can see our damage is so ridiculous. Already this early into the game. And yeah, if, they, if, they, if people get knocked into a wall, they actually take. They don't take extra damage, but they get stunned for much longer duration, so you don't have to always go for it, but if you see a wall somewhere, obviously you want to knock his, uh, people into a wall if you can. Also, Crusted's Unite move is also something I don't think a lot of people know. So he does damage over time around him, right? But there's actually another effect that he has. If if you get attacked during your Unite, you do extra damage around you every second, and that's where all the damage comes from. So if you ever fight a Crusted who has Unite move on, the best thing to do is probably not hitting him. It's like a counter effect. Gonna go for smash, shell smash into Ixus, and there we say, oh, crit, 1.8 thousand damage on the crit, looking for the Death Fox now, there's a wall as well, knock him into the wall, they get stunned for pretty much the entire duration, and just die in one stun, thanks to my absolute being there as well. Going for the Dreadnought now, so yeah, the Unite move actually does damage, 
um, when you get hit. So it does it does a bit of damage, and then I can I mean I can show it. like like the info description. I'm gonna just put it on screen so you guys can read it for yourself. But it's pretty much a counter attack. I'm trying to get my 40, and if I actually do get all 40 in there, looking for another Exorcist. Savion actually gets knocked into the wall as well, and always make sure like the Razor Claw is also super nice. You can always uh, like do a um, shell smash into auto attack as well into Razor Claw into another maybe auto attack. So quite quite nice. Looking for more. There's the I just double crit the Sylvie on there. <laughs> it's so hilarious of a build. I just double crit him. Um, I said he died, but our so at least cleans up, so totally fine. Gets a quarter kill for himself. And uh, yeah, I mean this build is just so addicting to. I I just love it. It's so much fun. It is really just one of the most fun builds currently in Unite. I would say if you like, you know, melee defenders or melee damage dealers. Again, it doesn't really feel like a defender, right? You're more like a killing machine. But uh, yeah, if you enjoy all rounder speedsters or something, I think he kind of fits this category. I and mean, it can be pretty much be a speedster. Waiting for the pawns to face check right here. I'm going to go into Shell Smash. Ixus again. Again, always important using Shell Smash first. Aldency, this was also very. Uh, this is so weird. Like, Fire Spin cancelled my Unite move. Crusades Unite move is actually not unstoppable. So it can be cancelled while you're casting it. I don't know why that's like that. I feel like it should be unstoppable effect. But yeah, my Unite move gets cancelled there, sadly by the fire spin gotta be more aware of it it's gonna happen one more time this game and uh, it's something i should have been more careful about so yeah make sure you are aware of where cc is before you use your cross the unite move um otherwise it could be very tough um i still want to kind of unite move one more time but i think it might be a bit too late now I'm just gonna look for a short fight again another shell smash again there my <laughs> unite move got cancelled again by the fire spin i'm just gonna keep going trying to go for this to dry but it's getting quite quite difficult Another fire has been chasing me around. It's gonna try and make it to safety now. I don't want to unite move anymore now. Now it's a bit too late for you for unite moving. Could be difficult to get my unite back up for Zeptos, so I'm just gonna keep it for now. I'm just gonna run away. Um, I really want level 13 as well. Level 13 is where we get one more Quiron reduction onto our Ixazas. So I'm just looking for experience right now. I know the bees spawn at three minutes, so I'm going for this Corpfish. Afterwards, I go for the bees that spawn in the middle here. My team is fighting with the strat now, but like uh, it's just so difficult to fight. I probably may maybe I should have been down there. You know what? I probably should have been down there um, instead of being top lane. But I don't say I didn't expect such a big fight to break out. But I mean, people always enjoy fighting for this last strat. Like their <laughs> life depends on it. But honestly, I probably should have been there. Um, could have run back bot lane. I really didn't expect the fight to last this long. Just gonna look for the strat now, now still. When X is in, and uh, don't get it. But I can do this because I'm crossed. I have shell smash, I can always run away instantly. For some reason this bliss is just saving me with X speed. I'm not sure what he was thinking he's gonna do. But yeah, I think I think it was a mistake of me. I think I should have been at dread still. Because we had a goal up as well, so it was like a favorable fight to take, since we have a goal behind us. Alright, now for Zeptos. We want to camp in one of these bushes, either here or the L bush, and then just look for Shell Smash, X scissors as much as we can. Lake game team fights can be quite difficult. Again, you turn very squishy as well if you use Shell Smash, so you gotta be very aware. You can look for an eject button as well. Savion jumps over, I said he missed the Savion. And uh, it's gonna keep looking now. I'm gonna start auto taking this guy. I don't have eject button either right now. Like in late game, I like eject buttoning onto backline. There we go. Just looking for an X scissors. And this team fight is looking quite, quite rough. Gonna unite move again, but this time it gets cancelled again. I really thought I had enough time there to actually use it. I was like, oh, really? This cancels me again. Kind of ridiculous. So I'm just gonna stick around for a bit. Decidrui is going on top side. And I see him jumping over, so I'm gonna head over there. See him on the minimap that he's just gonna jump over. Gonna shell smash XS him. And I crit him for 2100 damage. So I like this. I'm just gonna use this time. I just use my Unite move outside of the vision. And I'm just gonna run into them, XS them into the wall. And yeah, the Death Fox pretty much 1 HP, but oh man, the softball X just keep him alive. I did zone them a lot. Sadly, I'm dead for quite a while now. Man, Blissey. Softball X. But yeah, there is saw the crit on the Tildry. I was very low on HP, so the, again, the lower I'm on HP the more damage I will do. Fire Spin just messes with Krasse. I mean, Fire Spin messes with almost all melees, I feel like. But yeah, it's it's so difficult to play into Fire Spin as Krasse. It is so annoying. It also can cancel your Ixxers as well. Ixxers can get cancelled by CC. Gotta be careful. Gonna run towards the Snorlax here. Gonna kill him first, hopefully. Gonna proc our Razor Claw with auto attacks as well. He goes down and we go back to Zepdos. And meanwhile, my Absol this time. We force the Ignite moves. He actually kills all of them. So I'm gonna start doing Zepdos. And uh, there's only one guy alive. So if that person comes, I can always exit them out as well, quite easily. There's the Sylveon. But I mean, it's missing, if it's missing a fire Sylveon wins this, then it's just all doomed. But we're just gonna... My team is just killing him. I'm just gonna keep on Zepdos, because I'm quite low. And we get it in the end. So, good team fight by Mapsoil. It was a very close game in general. Um, 
And yeah, this game is where we ended up having all of the highest damage numbers I ever had on Crosser. 114,000 damage. I have now another video coming up if you guys want to see more Crosser gameplay. I would appreciate you guys if you like the video and subscribe to my channel. Disappeared. I crit him! Oh, I crit him again! Oh, no. Not enough. Playing Crust just makes me happy. I don't know what it is. Playing the split just makes me happy. I can be here, I guess. Oh, why is there three Odinos here? What the fuck? What's that Odinos so red looking? Anyone know? Where'd he go? Wait, what? Oh, he's actually here. Suck in the boy! Unite move. Ah oh, man, it's just it's just so dumb now. <sighs> Promise like Absol doesn't even take skin or anymore. I can no Absol actually takes zero skill. Are you serious? What? What happened to my, my auto tank? Just cancelled. Fuck.
I need to have a 30, my guy. But now you can belly flop again on Snorlax by pressing Night Move again. You can belly flop a second time. How do I actually defend mid base? Actually, I feel like I'm gonna lose this game. I don't know. The team fighting is very really strong later on. The Gengar's level 14. The Gengar I completely destroyed in lane all games. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. He's actually going for that score, really? Oh, I should. Thought he would not go for that score anymore. Thought he was recalling. But well, now we can win the game. I just only have soil from Zapdos. No! Yeah, <laughs> yeah,